am Shada Shara and welcome to Sada Learning Hub. Today's session we are going to learn local history for files in the Eclipse IDE. First of all, local history. Eclipse keeps a local history of files which have changed. Every time an edit editable files is saved, the Eclipse runtime updates the local history of that file and locks the changes that have been made that have been made. This local history. Next, I'm going to discuss about comparing files based on the local history. To compare the current version of the file, which local version is stored by Eclipse. Right click on the file and select compare with local history. For the context menu, Eclipse opens the history view. Now I can show how to comparing the Eclipse local history. Now select on your source file, clicking on compare with local history. Whenever you are clicking on the local history, it will be show like this. If you're clicking on that one, you see here, this is the history, local history of that one. Now, this is the just now file. This is modified by the 1259 colon 10 am. Next, replace the file based on the local history. You can replace the files based on the local history. Right click on that file and select replace with local history to start this action. If you want to replace the local history, just right click on your file, replace with local history. Whenever you are done, it can ask which time you want to replace the local history. Just click on that one and replace it. It automatically replace that local history into a into your file. Next, I'm going to discuss about organizing your workspace with working sets. You will create a more more and more projects in your development career. Therefore, the data is in our workspace grows and it is hard to find the hard to find the right information the eclipse ide allows you to organize your projects into your working sets so that you can hide a certain resources you can use work working sets to organize your displayed projects data to set up your working sets select the project explorer open the drop down menu select the work sets you for that one open the project explorer click on this under window work search Select the worksheet. Whenever you are press a new button on the following dialog box, whenever you are clicking on the new button in the following dialog box, it creates a work search. On the next dialog box, select the resource, press enter the next button, select the project you want to like to see into the next one. Resource button, select the next. Which project you want? Select that project. Select that project. You work set name. Select that project. Click on next. 
and click on the finish. You can new filter and display the file package explorer. See here it shows the this is the work search. Like this you can do it. Next I am going to discuss about tasks. Task management. You can place a mark markers in your code which you can enter access via a task view. You can use the slash to do or we can use the fixed name or we can use the triple x tags in your code to add the task rem remainder. This indicates a task for the eclipse. You can find these are the task view of your eclipse. Via double clicking on the task you can navigate to a corresponding code. You can open a new via window show window task. If you see here this is the task. If you if it is not available here go to the window show window click on tasks it automatically shows here these are the to do tasks are available we need to do all those things this indicates the tasks for the eclipse you can find these are the tasks view of an eclipse via double clicking on the task you can navigate to the corresponding code for example if you double click on this one automatically it going to this code you can open this view of the window show window tasks close the editor for the my first class for this class test cl test one class if you now double click on a class on the task a java editor opens again under to do's comments on the selected if for example i'm closing all these things but my tasks are pending here but i need to do that particular task for that we can go which we want select on particular that one automatically opens that particular file and highlights the particular tasks next i am going to discuss about own tags you can also define your own tags in the eclipse preferences via go to the window preferences java go to the java tab in this java tab go to the compiler in this compiler go to the task tags if we can add it here the task tags whatever you want for example i'm adding a new task tab is so the learning hub it's a normal task just i'm clicking on okay i'm clicking on apply and click on okay now i'm adding here task for that one so the learning hub do it something something here i can save it here now it is showing see here this is the task for sada learning hub it is available in the here whenever we are double clicking here it is highlighted in the sada learning hub we can do it over one tasks one tasks are also like this next i am going to discuss about mylin a more advantageous task management system is available with the mylin plugins if you want to do more more and more for the tasks you can go with the mylin plugin it's available for the advanced task management system thank you so much watching this video hope this lesson helpful to you keep watching our lessons keep writing to us 
Do not forget subscribe our channel Sadot Learning Hub because we have many sessions that would help you to develop our skills and I will be back soon till then you take care bye bye.